hi guys lens here so in this video if you have an iphone and it is unavailable i am going to show you how we are going to fix this so right now the phone is not responding to itunes because it's unavailable we need to turn off the phone and we need to put this into the recovery mode so and what i noticed with the latest ios 15.6 i noticed that if you try turning off the phone it will give you a difficult time to turn off the phone on other models you can easily shut down the phone the power button symbol will come up and shut down so i have the lightning cable currently hooked up to my computer and what we are going to do we are going to hold the power button while we plug in the lightning cable we are going to hold the power button and also the volume down so what you want to do you want to keep holding until we get this phone restart or into the recovery mode so what you want to do here you want to hold the volume down so we are into the recovery mode so guys what we are going to do we are going to restore the device so that's what so that's what you want to do here restore the device and then you restore and update itunes will then extract the software and it's a process that may take about 5 to 15 minutes depending on the phone that you have so you want to just wait this out so guys when it finished extracting then it will prepare iphone for restore so you want to keep your phone plugged in you want to ensure that your battery is charged up to at least 25 percent you want to also ensure as well that guys doing this you will lose all the data on your phone so you really want to ensure that you have your info back up on your iCloud so currently guys it is verifying the iPhone for update and restore and now restoring iPhone is now beginning so you will see the little process there going across in the middle of the screen under the logo so guys this is the fast and easier way to get this problem fixed to get your iphone up back and running at least before you do this ensure that you know your apple id info as it will ask you to enter them before you can use your phone it is indeed a form of security if your phone is stolen so ensure that you know your apple id credentials so guys the process will look something like this as you can see it's moving up there so it's currently verifying the iphone software This should just take a few minutes, a minute or two. We are almost there. So guys, it's now restoring the iPhone firmware. This should take a few minutes.
So guys, as you can see, we are almost finished. Guys, we are finished. Our iPhone has been restored to factory settings. So you can go ahead, unplug the cable. Turn on the iPhone. You want to make sure during this process that you don't unplug your lightning cable. Because if you do this can create serious problem. Yeah. One is now setting up the interface for a device. It's now extracting the firmware and it will be available for us to use within two minutes time so guys I'm just recording the entire process well most of it so you don't get bored you don't get lost wondering why is it taking so long should this happen should this take so long or what so guys you can actually know what to do if you're panicking yeah so this is the last step after this step we should see the welcome screen in the meantime i am going to plug up this iphone to the 5 volts charger so that's what i'm going to do So guys, as you can see, this is the welcome screen. So you're going to set up.
so we need to connect our Wi-Fi and then his wait is gonna ask you for your Apple ID if any on the device so it's quite important that you know your iPhone credentials or you're in a big problem so yeah I hope that this video was helpful do like share and subscribe